Hello. Thank you so much for joining me today. I've got some new things to talk about. I've got some new ink, some new pens, some new paper products, and I'm glad you're here because it'd be weird for me to just kind of talk to myself about all this cool stuff. So appreciate it. Let's start from low to high, relatively speaking, in terms of price. Um, Wearing Gull, traditionally an ink brand as far as we've sold, but they've got some paper stuff out now. And uh, not just paper though, they've got interesting swabby things. So let's start with these. So here we've got some ink swatch cards. Officially these are Wearing Gull ink color chart cards what we're calling these. So we've got a hundred of these and they are um, little pieces of paper that can go into this thing and you have stuff fall out of it. Okay, you've got more goodies in here. Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves, Drew. All right, the cards for a hundred of these are meant for you to swab your inks onto these so you can keep track of what the inks that you have encountered in the past look like. If you've got a terrible memory like me or just want things to look pretty. But once you get these, you can get this, $6, also $6. Um, and you can fill said thingamabob with the cards that you buy. So for $12, you get both these things or you can get them individually. Um, this is the color chart binder. So color chart cards, color chart binder. As you see, you've got spots for three cards per Page. I believe there are 40, uh, 40 pages here. You've also got stickers that it comes with for you to help with uh, labeling and just for fun. So it comes with all of this good stuff and you then have a good way to present all of your ink history. And I believe you can double these up. Yeah, you can put these on both sides. So um, you can do the math there, but it has plenty of room for you to pack this thing full of your ink history. Very cool. It's, you know, plasticky sort of stuff, but for six bucks, like, this is an awesome deal. And the paper is really good quality, too. It's nice, 200 uh, um, grams per square inch, um, grams per square meter paper. So rigid, holds ink well, isn't super absorbent, so you are still going to get some good shading and sheen and all that good stuff. It is going to show off the qualities and unique properties of your ink, should your ink happen to have anything fun about it. Additionally, for $9, you can get it all kind of in one unit with the A5 notebook here. So this notebook is going to have all of the ink bottle images printed on here already for you, so you don't need to add anything to it. So um, yeah, so see that, they're all, can you see that? That's just gonna look white, isn't it? I'll show you some pictures so you'll be fine. Um, this is the Ink Color Swatch A5 Notebook. 40 pages, A5 size, spiral bound, wire bound. New ink wise, we've got a new 1670 ink from Jacques Herbon, and this is always an exciting thing. Uh, these happen with semi regularity, um, and the 1670 inks have gold shimmer within them. Um, the 1798 versions have silver shimmer. So this is a 1670. So this is a uh, pink or fuchsia in this case with gold shimmer. And this is called Fuchsia de Magellan. And it's lovely. You've got a delightful presentation here. As you can see, we've got a wax seal with 1670 right there on the front, a wax cap um, that you don't have to break the wax or anything to unscrew this. It unscrews just fine. It's just wax over top of a plastic cap. So it will look this good in perpetuity. So these are beautiful. I'll show you some images of the actual ink itself. Um, you can get this 50 mil bottle for $29.95. So check that out. It's very cool. Always good ink. And these shimmer inks from 1670 and 1798, they have a lot of shimmer in them, but uh, I've found them to be less cloggy than some other brands shimmer, but it really depends on your pen. So anyway, worth checking out. Good reputation, good brand. Now let's move on to some pens. We're going on a little bit of a, a Lamy, lami thon real quick. We've got Lamy, 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 Lamy. All right, Lamy, Lamy, Lamy. 
let's start off with uh, the studio. So this Lummy Studio, I'm gonna get a get some shots going on here. Okay, fixed it. This looks accurate now. All right, so we've got a light rose. It's not actually called light rose. That was something Lummy used with a Safari, so not officially the light rose, just rose, but it is a lighter color of the studio. Now, the studio is a lovely pen. You've got the Lummy logo, not the Lummy logo, that's another pen, but the <laughs> Lummy's logo is right here, right up at the top near the very distinctive clip that the studio has. And then you've got where the cap ends and the pen body begins. And this pen has a really nice um, capping situation. It's something that go kind of goes under the radar a little bit. Uh, not only does it snap to cap here, but it actually snaps to post as well. It's not as clicky, but it's definitely really clicky. So it's not gonna go anywhere. So anyway, that's the cap. You do have a very slick metal grip section here. And then you've got your nib. So we've got a fine here. It is gonna be a steel nib in this case. Um, personally, I don't find the, uh, the grip to be super slippery. It looks slippery. And I guess if you've got, um, you know, if my hands are pretty dry, so I don't really have a slippery experience here, but you know, to each their own. It is very slick, so I'll say that. This is gonna be a cartridge converter pen. It will come with one of those. Actually, let's take a look here. There we go, comes with both. You've got your converter and your cartridge. So you'll have that going on for you. And it is a proprietary cartridge and converter. So you can get a Lummy Studio in rows here for $79 and 20 cents. Also, exactly $79 and 20 cents is this pen. And what we're looking at here is the Lamy Ion in a color that Lamy is calling Deep Dark Blue. Deep Dark Blue. All one word here. Um, and it is, in fact, a deep, a dark, and a blue. Once again, you've got Lamy written right there on the clip. It is a spring-loaded clip. So very easy to put onto your pocket or pen case with just one hand. I like that a lot. It is an aluminum pen, um, just like the Studio. Sorry, I didn't actually mention that. It's probably pretty obvious, but this is an aluminum pen. Um, like the Studio, this is also aluminum. However, the Studio has this um, soft matte texture. The um, Ion here has more of a uh, tactile texture to it, um, like an actual texture you can feel rather than see. Uh, so you are going to feel a little bit. It just feels like more of a brushed. Uh, it's brushed horizontally. Um, I guess not horizontally, but it's brushed <laughs> that way, not up and down. I'm great with my words here. So it's not rough, but you definitely do feel it, and it definitely gives the pen a little bit of visual texture as well. So another snap cap. Another pen that posts well. It's not snapping to post in this case, but it does post securely. And then you've got a slightly different texture here on the grip section. So as you can see, the texture that you see on the uh, out of focus barrel here, um, you see this is pretty heavily brushed. But then when you get to the grip section, it looks a lot more like the um, texture on the studio, doesn't it? So it's got much more of a soft look to it than the brushed look of the barrel. Now this is a very light pen. It's lighter than the studio for sure. The aluminum here is just very, very light. So it's a really comfortable pen to hold. And one of the more interesting aspects of it is the nib. So while it is a Lamy nib and it can go onto different Lamy pens, same feed, the nib here 
um, on the ion. The ion is kind of known for um, its different nib. It's just a different profile, a more distinct um, rounded profile rather than the uh, angular look of the traditional Lamy nib. Performs the same. You'll find the same performance if you are familiar with Lamy's other pens and other nibs. So nothing functionally different, but uh, it gives it uh, the ion. It gives it uh, something unique, something to talk about. And um, you know, this was intentionally designed by uh, Jasper Morrison. So a lot went into this, and Lamy is providing 2023 with a limited edition in deep dark blue. So again, another $79.20 pen, another cartridge converter. All right, that one also is going to come with a cartridge and a converter in the box. We are not done with Lamy yet. Remember, it's Lamy, Lamy, Lamy. Save the best for last. Not necessarily the best, but probably the most significant. And this is... <laughs> the... Oh, yeah, that's right. We've got some ink. We've got some ink in there. And we've got this one. This is the... Scala or Scala? Not really sure, actually. We're we're that's up for debate here in the office. Um, we'll call it Scala. Um, in Jade, um, they're calling this um, they're calling this majestic Jade, but I'm not seeing the Jade exactly. I'm seeing more of a turquoise, more of a light blue, but. Certainly majestic. The Scala doesn't um, exist regularly. This is not a pen model that is always available from Lamy. But, uh, you know, let's talk about this. This is a very loud numbering um, etching. It's uh, laser etched here. So you see that it is out of 1500. So this is a limited edition for 2023. Is this spring loaded? No, it is not. I mean, it is, but not in the way that you can kind of push on this. But you can check it out. It's very pretty. It doesn't move a lot, but it moves enough. So beautiful finish. You've got a bit of shimmer in here amongst the royal jade, not uh, royal jade, majestic jade. Royal jade, I think, was a Twisby. So it's a beautiful pen. Um, it is not a twist, Drew. What are you doing? It's a snap cap. And again, we've got a, another slick metal grip like the Studio that we saw. However, what's different is the nib. This is a 14 karat gold nib. So again, same shape as the two other Lamis that we've seen, except this one is a gold nib. Um, gold in material. The actual color is um, silver because it's rhodium plated. But you can see what a difference the rhodium plated makes. Silver is not just silver. Like you, you're looking at a silver rhodium versus a silver steel here on the studio. Beautiful, beautiful nib here. Um, and then in addition to it being silver, which is kind of hard to see on my phone here, uh, you've got a gold uh, bit of uh, gold going along the tines there. And again, I keep saying again because We've got some same things happening. It's a cartridge converter pen. It'll come with both. In fact, let's take a look at what actually is inside of the box. So inside the box here, we have the converter, and then we have a bottle of ink. And this is Lamy Crystal. It's not telling me. Azerite, maybe? Gouletpens.com here tells me that it is Amazonite, not Azerite. So, uh, yes, Lamy Crystal Ink in the box. So the Scala definitely is a jump up in price at $296. You've got the gold nib on there. It is very limited, and it's not every day you see a numbered Lamy pen. So out of $1,500, um, this is not going to be a forever pen, but it can be your pen if you want it to be. So that is available now, as are all of the other Lamy's that we took a look at today. And now we're going to talk about Kaveco. It is a Supra. And I, 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 there, there are some pens that I always get excited to play with. And the Supra is one of them. 
and you'll see why in a second. All right, and here it is. Right off the bat, you're gonna see that there is some texture here. You, we've got a brushed situation here in the black aluminum, and this is new. I haven't actually put my fingers on this yet. I've seen it in pictures. I've handled many uh, Supras, but not this black aluminum one, which is a new material. So we've had brass, we've had fire balloon, we've had stainless steel. This is, this is very light in comparison. And um, uh, toward the lower end of the Supra price point at $140. So there we go. Caveco Supra Germany up at the top. The logo is also up at the top. And then you'll see that um, you've got two segments here, and we're going to check both of those out. I'll also say that the texture here is not really noticeable in the hand. It's more visual than physical, I'd say. So if you're a texture person that's bothered by you know, disruptive textures, this shouldn't bother you too much at all. I don't think it would bother you. So let's unscrew the cap first and take a look at the nib. There we have it. It is a number six size German steel nib from Caveco. And then if you'd like, you can post the, you could post the cap. Um, this adds a bit of length to the pen. Um, it definitely extends pretty far past the palm when you post it. You don't need to, it'll still, I believe, yeah, it'll still put, it'll still be past your palm if you uh, don't post it. But if you don't want this little bugger running away, then a nice solid, thread to post is always handy. And it's very light, so it's not back-weighted or really disruptive at all, so post away. So that is the first little segment here. What makes the Supra so much fun and such an interesting pen from Kaveco is this center segment. So once you unscrew this, actually you don't really have to unscrew that, but um, yeah, you do, Never mind. You can actually separate it one step further. There's the cartridge. Removing that center section allows you to reassemble the pen without it, and thus making it a little tiny pocket pen. And once that's done, this pen is cut down to size like by half. So it is very much a pocket pen now. And the difference is very, very obvious. You saw what it looked like in my palm earlier. Now it's, you can barely see it. So um, at this point, posting it brings it to about um, the size that it was. So as you can see, it's popping out right beyond my palm, which is what the other, the full size one did with that center segment um, not posted. So you've got the unposted length approximately um, of the full size pen, but closed, it's much smaller. So the Supra allows you to transition between a pocket pen and a full-size pen, but you don't really have to forsake anything when you go to the pocket size because when you post it, it's a full-size pen, very comfortable. So I do really love the Supra, and I'm pleased to say that the metal edges here um, are not super sharp. I sometimes worry about this center segment because you do, have you know a bit of a uh, ridge here and if depending on how you hold it this ridge might get in the way or you know rub against your fingers in a funky way but it is not a sharp edge at all and uh, I'm both pleased and upset by this because I want this pen but I don't want to I don't need to buy it right now so I was kind of hoping it would be more sharp and I'd be like, oh no, that's not comfortable. No, it's comfortable. Dang it. All right. I like this pen. I'm a little biased here, but uh, again, 140 for the Caveco Supra. You get this nice tin, you get your cartridge, and then you kind of get two pens in one. So I find this extremely fun. It's the only pen that I know of that does this. So it's always a treat to be able to play with a Supra. So we've got more pictures on the website. Check it out if you'd like it. It's available now, not only in the aluminum black, but in three additional materials and three additional price points if your budgetary situation is different. So let's move on to our final pin of this video. 
it is an Edison, and it is an Edison Premier. And if you know about the Edison Premier, you know that it is our exclusive model with the Edison Pen Company. So made in the US in Ohio, the Edison Pen Company has been making um, pens with us, for us, for over 10 years now. And the Premier, um, which is this model right here, has a long and uh, really fun history. And we've got a blog entry about the history of our premieres on our website if you'd like to check that out. But our newest entry after taking a bit of a hiatus is the Dragon S. And that is right here. It is a stunning acrylic, unlike anything I've seen before. Uh, this acrylic rod was made by Jennifer Early of Storm Winds Blanks. And then that blank was given to the Edison Pen Company in Ohio, and they created a premiere using this beautiful Dragon S material. So you'll see Edison Premier 2023 Limited Edition. These pens are really something else. I love them because you've got translucency, you've got opacity, and you've got sparkle. So there's a whole lot going on, and I think that the overall look of the pen is really unique. It's not just a bunch of swirls, it's got a lot going for it, and the detail is really something you can get lost in, which I enjoy doing. So again, sparkles, clouds, it's just something unique. And it's not every day that I see a material that is just so vastly different and unique. I love being surprised, and this material did that for me. So naturally, I'm pretty excited about it, but I'm also a little bit biased because it's uh, our exclusive, and the premiere has, like I said, a nice, fun history with us. And the people over at the Edison Pen Company are really great people, and Brian Gray, um, owner of Edison Pens is has a very very um, high degree of uh, uh, his high his standards are very very high so I know that they don't let anything out of their shop that is uh, anything less than perfect so when you buy an Edison pen you're buying uh, a pen that has had a very discerning eye placed upon it so the Dragon S here is going to be sold for one ninety nine. And uh, it is available now. And you can only get it here at the Goulet Pen Company. You've got a Yovo steel nib made in Germany with the Edison light bulb there laser etched onto it. And this will go great with a number of uh, chroma shading or dual shading inks. I think that um, some of those sailor inks that have that kind of dusky gray purple look to them would look really great in this and uh, I mean anything will look great but if you're like me and you really appreciate matching that is an avenue you can go down if you'd like to so the Edison Dragon S 199 available now that concludes the kit and the caboodle for today so thank you so much for spending some time with me today I hope you have a great rest of the day right on